Hey guys, Blue Eyed Freak asked me if we can hold Solstice packages into Shadow Keep for 2.0 armor. Solstice key fragments and packages will expire on August 27th. So what's the point? Solstice 2.0 armor with random stat bonuses instead of that curated gunsmith one. What makes it the best set? Because with this set, not only do you have access to universal ornaments, but you can apply glows too. And it looks like you can apply both of those at the same time from the stream. Is it possible though? Can I convince you? This is something I've been wanting to test for a year. The perfect opportunity to test my holiday exploitation. Some of you have noticed I have some holiday bounties in my inventory. I also have fragmented souls from Halloween in my vault. Holiday resources and vaults are not removed. They are safe there. That is why you cannot store key fragments or solstice packages. Bungie thinks they're smart by keeping them in your inventory. So I wanted to do an experiment. You can keep completed bounties infinitely. Will they give rewards? Yes. Will they include new rewards? Sometimes. Holding Iron Banner bounties over to this season gave new Iron Banner weapons. This has to do with versioning. Versioning is something Bungie does to keep old sources offering old rewards. More on that in another video. So after turning in my Valentine's Day bounty, I received the currency Confectionary Hearts. Those were all removed after the season, yet here I have more. But I can't give them to Lord Shax, so they're useless. How were they removed from your inventory? It wasn't like a one and done removal process. There's a process that will be known as the Forbidden Check that's performed to remove things from your inventory. We've seen this with weekly resets and the offering to the Oracle. If I go to orbit, that check is performed and I lose my hearts. The Forbidden Check could happen in a number of situations. Bungie doesn't want you to have that forbidden love candy. Why is this the perfect season? Because our lock and our keys are consumables. No vendor in between. So the challenge here we have is storing key fragments and the solstice packages. But it won't let you store them. This is where the trick postmaster hoarding comes in handy. Things in your postmaster will not be touched by the forbidden check. This has been proven with different consumables like leviathan keys. So our goal is to get those in your postmaster. The only problem is we already have a stack of keys and packages. Those will keep stacking. The key fragments stack up to 9,999. So to start a new stack, you have three options. Either run out of keys, which would be really hard to do, hit a max stack and have a full consumables inventory when that happens. This should send all future key fragments to the postmaster, where they should be available until you want them, or the postmaster gets overwritten with a whole bunch of stuff. AFK Forge Farm can help with that, but that might be unrealistic if you don't have a lot of fragments already. So option three, as I showed earlier, is saving Solstice Daily Bounties. Each offers five fragments, 15 for a package, so you could store up a whole bunch of daily bounties. After the event, you can load into the tower, collect those bounties, and then immediately open Solstice packages. Doing anything else could remove them from your inventory, so only do it when you're ready to use them. Now to storing packages. Sadly, all packages in your inventory have to go. So open all of them. Then fill up your inventory with consumables. Grab a few of each planetary material, gunsmith, boons, fireteam medallions, and such. Then run the European Aerial Zone. When you get a package, it goes to your postmaster. Now you have access to fragments and packages you can combine after Shadowkeep drops. But will that be Armor 2.0? I want to say yes. Any armor that drops after Shadowkeep will be Armor 2.0. Bungie didn't recode every armor source in the game, they just tweaked the way armor is decrypted, meaning this should be Armor 2.0 as well. What's an example like this that worked in the past? Armor Masterworks. When Masterwork Armor was introduced, porting old legendary engrams into the update allowed them to decrypt into Masterwork Armor. This was confirmed by Daniel, the economy designer for Bungie. This is because the process was changed, not the loot pool. And that's how I would best describe the Armor 2.0 transition. Leading me to believe that all sources acquired before Shadowkeep will decode into Armor 2.0 after Shadowkeep. Now obviously this hasn't been possible before, so it's not a guarantee to work by any means. But all of the groundwork has been tested. 
all the methods line up. So do it if you want to try for a truly unique armor. I've got other hoarding videos coming too, so stay tuned for more Shadowkeep prep. Cheese forever, Guardian.